welcome back to the channel guys today i'm finally going to take a look at microsoft flight simulator of course this is the newest version I've been putting off doing this video because uh, the game does re need quite a good cpu so i wanted to wait for my 5950x to arrive it has now so let me just quickly go through the in-game settings it's going to disable my on-screen display here and uh, you can see i'm playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 anti aliasing method is TAA. Now the game is completely maxed out. I've gone beyond ultra settings with some of the sliders like object detail, objects level of details at 200, and even the terrain shadows have been pushed to the maximum as well. You won't get this on the ultra preset. You're gonna have to go in and um, do this yourself. So lens correction is not necessary. And this is just like a multiplayer setting. So that is pretty much it for uh, the uh, settings now. So, um, Flight Simulator, I'm not very experienced with this, so this is very much a noob trying to get from A to B. So, uh, you know, don't expect any uh, fantastic flying from me. I'm just going to try and uh, get from A to B, as I said. So, what I've noticed with Flight Simulator, I'm playing this through the Xbox uh, Game Pass, and they basically removed all of the training, moved, removed all of the options for, like, Boeing 777s and like um, passenger flight um, carrier airplanes. So I have to use these propeller planes. I know it is a little bit less demanding, but um, that's all I can work with at the moment. Anyway, let's get the plane in the air. I'm just going to just engage the brakes and uh, start the engine. Okay, I like to take off outside of cockpit view. I just find it a little bit easier. Again, I am a noob at this, so uh, bear with me. Should be able to take off now. Right, nice and smooth. Does it uh, retract the wheels? So this is uh, Manchester in England, UK pretty much the second or third biggest city. I think Birmingham is a little bit bigger than it actually. So the second or third biggest city depending on who you ask. And uh, I'm gonna be flying to a city nearby called Liverpool. Both got great football teams here in the UK, Manchester United and Liverpool Football Club, some of the biggest teams in Europe. So some of you guys may have heard of the football teams at least if you're not too familiar uh, with the actual uh, uh, cities themselves if you live outside of the UK you've got to say the game does look absolutely amazing I'm just gonna pan around slowly and uh, just look at the way the light reflects off the, the plane and even the modeling of the just the ground below they've really done some high quality assets there it does look every bit apart so just getting below uh, 48 frame, 50 frames per second while panning the camera but generally you'll get around 50 frames per second this is quite a short flight so um, you know I won't be in the air too long it's going to reduce the engine a bit don't need to be uh, flying too fast I want to go to around 70, 70 75% engine that should be fine because you don't want to be flying too fast you get to about 250 knots and you're in trouble so yes, again, I am playing with my Xbox 360 control pad. I don't have any like professional setup like a yoke or anything like that. This is just me doing the best I can with control pad. So because I want to have a look around, I'm just going to enable AI to keep the uh, plane in a straight line for a few moments while I uh, just kind of take in the sights. So let's go into the, uh, let me just put my uh, flap down as well. It's getting to the cockpit now. I like the way the map is just completely on show so you know where you're going. I mean I don't know too much about planes but this does look like a high level of detail that they've put into the interiors. Even got the uh, fire extinguisher there. You can see actually moving as well some of the parts so that is pretty cool. Don't know if there's any pilots watching, but let me know the accuracy of the cockpit. What do you think of it? Do you think they've done a good job? It looks pretty good to me. Let's have a look out here. 
yeah, just the lighting on this game is absolutely amazing. So you can see the 5950X here boosting sometimes, uh, you know, above 5 gigahertz, which is uh, nice for me to see because I've uh, tuned my PBO. I'm just going to disable AI control, take back control. I need to uh, get some altitude about me. And yeah, the 5950X, since I've got it, you know, it's been performing great. It doesn't use a lot of power. You can see 76 watts um, power draw here for 16 cores. That's absolutely staggering. So if you're wondering why, why my 5950X is so cool, um, it's, it is completely water-cooled. And if you're wondering why the NVIDIA RTX 3090 is so cool, it's because I've undervolted it to 0 0.925 volts. I've got the fan profile at 75% and my PC is at my window. And it happens to be pretty cold over here in the UK. So if you're wondering why my temps are so cool, that is exactly why. Getting close to Liverpool now, not too far. I do need to enter the uh, pattern of entry. So let's just go towards this waypoint. RTX 3060 Ti launched uh, yesterday amazing card for the price i mean over here it's like 380 um pounds but you just can't get them some of the biggest retailers over here just didn't have any stock at launch so the 2020 trying to get gaming hardware for your pc or even just consoles as well it's just being ridiculous it's uh such a crap year to try and get things you should just be able to get them by going to your store of choice and just buying it if you've got the money but now it's all about being there on day one, the second it goes live and trying to beat scalpers and bots, it's just like uh, what the wild wild west out there at the moment, which is unfortunate because the Freddy 60 Ti is a good card, beats the GTX 1080 Ti handily and for cheaper as well. Of course, it's been a few years since the Pascal GPU has been about, but it's still great value for someone who doesn't want to break the bank and uh, get good performance. So, you know, I feel it for everyone involved that wants to upgrade but can't. So, you know, let's just hope things are better next year. Okay, I need to cut the speed a little bit more as we're getting close to entry. So, dipping down to around 47 frames per second here. The game plays really smooth though. I mean, it is a simulator game. So, you know, you don't really need high fr refresh rates, but I mean, high frame rates. So you can play this at 30 FPS fairly comfortably and uh, still have a great experience but yeah loving the 5950x i just want to talk a little bit more about it i've been doing some emulator gameplays that some of you may have seen so i was playing the last of us and god of war and it's definitely an improvement on amd's zen zen 2 or zen plus the matisse architecture so um if you were wondering if you could use emulators with the Radiot, the AMD Ryzen 9 5000 series, you certainly can. Right, let's just cut the engine now and uh, try to coast in. And uh, put my uh, flaps down as well. Now uh, get the uh, landing gear out. We need to uh, attempt to land this plane. Hopefully I don't crash and kill myself on the co-pilot. So who is looking forward to the RX 6900 XT? Um, I don't think I'll be getting one guys, I'm very very happy with my RX 6800 XT but you know I'm not saying I will never get one, I might get one next year but you know I could uh, you know just out of curiosity just see if it was possible to get one in the UK and uh, then I'll have to make a decision on my RX 6800. Alright, touchdown. Oh, that was a little bit of a bounce there. Uh, one for a time lucky. Yeah, right. We didn't kill anyone, which is good. Let's try and uh, slow the plane down, shall we? Just deal with the flaps. So yeah, got from A to B. I didn't kill anyone, which is nice. Let's take the plane off the runway. to use a bit more engine here. Come on, move, move. As you can see, I'm a complete noob at this, but uh, 
I don't need to be good just to uh, get from A to B. Okay, let's reduce the throttle, shall we? Break some. We don't want to take off again. Definitely not what we want to do. So I'm not too sure where I'm meant to park this, but uh, I'll just take it completely off uh, the runway. But I think the performance is fairly good. You'll get around, you'll definitely st remain over 40 frames per second. Um, not too sure what you'll get at night. Night is quite demanding, for those who don't know. Daytime's, I think, a little bit easier to run, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'll just leave it here. Can't have too many complaints. So that was a look at Flight Simulator. Just wanted to do a quick flight, just give you guys a quick look at how the RTX 3090 and 5950X perform. And uh, yeah, I'm not too, um, I'm not disappointed anyway. That's definitely a good experience if you're running this type of setup. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.